Hi everyone. So as I promised on my previous video about the Zomi pump, in this video I'm going to take a closer look at their hands-free collection cups. This is a new add-on from Zomi to go with their portable pump and with the idea of making the cups a little bit more discreet if you're using the pump to pump in public or at work. So let's take a look at the cups. The cups are an add-on so they don't come with the pump itself. The current cost on their website is $59.99. I will leave a discount code in the comments down below. Here on the table you can see everything that comes in this box with the collection cups besides the pump itself. The pump is sold separately. So you have the collection cup with all its parts. I'm going to break that down for you in a moment. And we have two sets of tubing. We have a Y tubing that comes with it so that you can pump on both sides. And a single-sided tube for single-sided pumping. Important to note that this tubing is slightly different than the tubing that connects to the bottles that come with the pump. The connection is a little bit different. As you can see, I am wearing a pretty baggy shirt right now. I do have one of the collection cups on, on the left side and nothing on the right side. So it's not totally unnoticeable if you were to be wearing a tighter shirt. Let me see if I pull this up, if you can see. Um, it's You can notice that you're wearing this, but if you have it in your bra and you have a nice loose top on, people are less likely to notice it. If you're at your desk pumping, uh, it could be more comfortable than having the bottles attached to you. When I was using this, I did find that the suction was a little bit less intense with the cup versus the flange from the bottles. Not really a problem because you could always turn up the suction a bit and play around with that. I did still get pretty good output with the cups. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you how to take these cups apart and put them back together. They are a little bit complicated. There are a lot of parts and pieces. It did take me a couple of trials after taking it apart to get it back together. So I will show you what I've learned in that process. So I'm gonna show you real quick the cup that I was using to pump. This is what the empty cup looks like. This cup does have the capacity to hold up to 150 milliliters, which is about five ounces. The seal on it is pretty good, so you can move around a bit without spilling the milk. I did completely lean over to pick something up off the floor and had a little bit of leaking, so as long as you're not completely leaning over, uh, it does have a nice tight seal, and I didn't notice any leaking around the edge of this. Okay, so you can see here, um, this flange is very hard. It's not um, soft silicone-y like other wearable pumps that I've reviewed before. So it's a firm flange, which is a good option for a lot of people. The size flange that it comes with is a 28 millimeter and it comes with a 24 millimeter insert that you can put in there for a smaller size. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and show you all the pieces and how to get it back together. So we have that insert, we have our flange. This is the cup, the collection cup, with this pouring spout at the top. We have our duckbill. So again, a duckbill system. We have a diaphragm up here which is removable it's really hard to get off but it does come off okay got it apart <laughs> so the flange comes off and then you have this piece which has a diaphragm inside which causes additional suction and prevents milk backflowing into your pump you are going to need to wash all these parts and just like I showed you on the other flanges, there is a little seal around this flange with a tab that you pull off. So as you can see, there's a lot of parts to wash here. This is just from one cup and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces to wash per side. So that's 16 parts overall. That may or may not be an issue for you, but just something to consider if you are gonna be pumping a lot, you may be washing a lot of pump parts if you're using these collection cups. So to put it back together, 
you there is one certain way it goes so there's a lip that you need to insert this into around the edge of the flange and try to do this as quickly as possible so we're gonna make sure that goes all the way in okay we are going to put this piece back together so this diaphragm goes around here and then this is really important this hole which is where the tubing is going to connect needs to go towards the top so i'm going to put it in this direction we're going to connect the duck bill so the duck bill fits right inside of here also a pretty tight squeeze you want when you put this together you want the duck bill to be going across this way and then I'm going to put the flange back in the hole there are little slits in the flange and you're gonna line them up you'll see in here there's little parts where you have to line that up so that it fits there's only one way that it will go and when I put the collection cup back on there's this pouring hole here that needs to line up perfectly with this hole for the tubing so we're gonna put that on and this part is a little bit tricky at first I've had a hard time getting this to snap into place but I found that if you put it on a hard surface and push down it works best you really need to get everything lined up perfectly before you snap that cover on because it's really difficult to get it to snap down properly if not. There, until it snaps into place. <laughs> this thing is a little bit tricky to put back together but my assumption is that it is because I am new at this and that it does become easier because I've also had a hard time with other wearable pumps and getting the pieces together. But once you get the hang of it, it's usually not that hard. All right, and then once you're ready to pump, you are going to connect either your Y tubing or your single-sided tubing into this hole in the top. You're going to connect it to your pump. And then this inserts into your bra you want to keep the tube upright so the tube is at the top and you just insert it into your bra as you can see it is a little bit less obvious than other portable pumps that have the pump that sticks out up here uh, but you do have this external pump that you need to um, either have in your lap on the table in your purse and then if you have a baggy shirt, you can just wear it over there and then continue your work at your desk or whatever, wherever your workspace is. All right, so overall, I like that you can wear this in your bra. I like that it makes it more portable. Is it necessary? No, but if it makes you feel more comfortable to use something like this versus having the bottles uh, hanging out of your pumping bra, great. Remember, it does have a lot of parts for washing um, and I'm a little bit nervous about how I'm going to transfer this milk into a bottle or a collection cup. So I'm going to figure out how to do that and I'll be right back to show you guys how it goes. So once you pump using the cups, you're going to carefully remove the cover and all the other parts, keeping it upright. Using this easy pour spout right here, you're going to pour the milk into the bottle and that's it. All right guys, so if you're looking for a portable option for on the go or at work, I think these are a great find. I can also see that these would be pretty easy to connect to another pump. Um, so if you already have another pump and you're, you don't have the Zomi, you could probably connect this to the Baby Buddha. And I'm sure that you could work it um, to be able to connect it to other pumps as well. Oh, also worth noting, I did see on their website that these cups and the pump do come together as a bundle. And that bundle is $1.99. So the 
cups themselves are $59.99 or if you're ordering it as part of the bundle, the whole thing is $1.99. I hope this tutorial on the Zomi hands-free collection cups was helpful. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you tried these? Have you tried any other hands-free collection cups before? What are your thoughts? Remember to subscribe down below. Hit the bell so you're notified each week when I post a new video. I do have a couple of videos coming out on other pumps in the coming weeks. So I hope that you stay tuned. I hope you join our community. I do have exciting news about uh, a membership that will be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And I look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Remember, don't quit on your worst day. It does get easier. And just don't forget to ask for help. And I'm glad you found this supportive community. I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.